In this video, we'll import an image and texture and then edit the texture with fixed pins. At File, Import, click Use as Image and find the picture. An image can be applied to a face or it can just be applied out in space. It keeps its proportions and we see the entire picture even though the face is not large enough to hold it. It won't show up in model because it's not a texture. To make it a texture, right click and explode it. To bring in a texture, click use as texture. We'll bring in the same picture. A texture must be applied to a face. It can't be applied in space. And only as much of the texture as there is face to hold it will show up. Right click, choose texture and position, and you'll see that the texture tiles. Now we see the whole image, and again we see multiple instances of it. This face is large enough to hold that part of the texture plus a tile piece of another. To make the texture cover the whole face, go to In Model, click on the thumbnail, and adjust the tile size. I've adjusted it up a little, and now the picture fills the face. To adjust it further, go back to Texture, Position, and notice these fixed pins. Each one does something different, and they can be moved by just grasping them with the mouse, but don't drag. The yellow pin moves or warps. It warps the item, and this is useful to straighten out a slightly angled picture. The blue pin scales it up and down, and also warps it left and right. The red pin moves it, and the green pin rotates and scales it. Now right click and toggle from fixed pins to free pins. See those four free pins? They all warp the image. Toggling between free pins and the yellow fixed pins may unwarp or straighten out a slightly warped picture, enough to make it usable.